Hey guys, this is Coach Neil, one of the admins for the Youth Soccer Coaching Group, and I wanted to answer a specific question that popped up in my feed. Love this question by Andre. It goes something like this: Does anyone use tech, t- any type of tech, software, apps, etc., during your sessions? Not just to help prepare for the session, but to use while running the session. Also, some type of tech or equipment. I know the old way of is the old way may be the best way, but just curious now in 2023, what's out there, if anything? And this, Andre, this is a softball question to me because not only do I have these Facebook groups that I hope you guys enjoy, try to be provocative when I can, but I'm also the founder of Anytime Soccer Training. And Anytime Soccer Training is a web application that has well over 5,000 training videos that cover all the major individual skill areas. Now, when people before, when they think about these training apps, they typically think about them as a supplemental tool to use when the child is at home. And of course, that's the primary purpose of Anytime Soccer Training, to provide a structured curriculum so that children can get, of all ages and abilities, can get touches at home when they're not in team training. However, I have stumbled upon something that's pretty powerful because we have over 5,000 training videos. Because the videos cover all the key skill areas, I do introduce it into our own, my own training sessions, even though I don't talk too much publicly about that with coaches because I know they have their own thing going on. But I have seen that the combination of humans plus technology has been better for my kids' development than just humans. And that's because, again, it's a structured curriculum that comes with music, a timer, and everything you need to run it, to run the technical portion of your sessions. So now what I'm going to do is give you a quick example of what that looks like in real life. So here's a skills clinic that I, I host. It's almost like a volunteer thing. And you'll see here, let me hit play, that the kids are doing a quick little warm-up, a dynamic warm-up. It's the same type of dynamic warm-up you see in countless training sessions. The difference is I, there's hundreds of dynamic warm-ups in the program. I know exactly how long the dynamic warm-up is going to be. I know exactly what they're going to do. And because we design a dynamic warm-up, we incorporate balls and all the essential dynamic skills. And because I'm not thinking about what to do, I can really watch the kids and make sure they're doing it. Now, don't judge us on the quality of what the kids are doing. This is a volunteer clinic. You know, the kids are just there. I'm not trying to make them professional soccer players in that particular clip. But I want to show you that now we have taken something that has that most coaches that I have seen or most parents or anyone woman up has taken as something supplemental and we've really turned it into a powerful component of session of, of the session. Then I move on to so here we, we're just doing some some dribbling and manipulation work. So now the kids are doing figure eight dribbling, okay? They're using only their right foot, right? Because it's hundreds of, of figure eight dribbling drills, right? So we can follow a very slow progression. And this is there for each of those kids that you're looking at this is their first time doing the program, okay? So, so again, it's not about trying to analyze their technique. It's just showing that I have a group of kids and they're all on the exact same page. And while the video is going, because remember, it's 100% follow along, you can see me working with a, a child who's having a hard time getting it. So I'm still coaching them. I'm still working with them, but it's almost like they're doing it in a, in a, in a aerobics video as opposed to me having to stop and start and all that kind of stuff. Same thing with juggling. Now they're doing a quick juggling warm-up. They're going to do that for two minutes, okay? Again, the video is planned. They're just doing it for two minutes as part of the dynamic warm-up. Everybody is there. It's just easy peasy. Now, the program covers everything. I just showed you three aspects of it, but it has a lot of fun games. It has finishing as well, and it has 1v1. So let me show you an example of what the 1v1 session might look like. Let me hit this. A second, they, they get a rest. All right, can you turn to your right this time? Again, they're using the video Good. and they're doing the 1v1 against each other. They have the timer and the music to get the cadence. That's my son and his teammate doing some stuff after practice. Oh, here's the ball, buddy. So they hear the music. Which hey, Matthew, could you have finished with 
And even though, oh, let me show you this one. Even though. Next up, with both players facing away from goal, the keeper tosses the ball overhead into a 1v1 contest. Repeat as many times as you can before the timer goes off. Now he's saying tossing it over his head. So here. So we here have after practice. I'll tell you the second. And I normally do about 10 to 15 minutes with Matthew after practice. And his little buddy is here because his sister is still training. So in theory, even though these kids at that age, they were nine. And again, I'm trying to talk and explain how the program works. So I'm not giving them coaching points. So take it for what it's worth. But in theory, by tossing the ball over the head and having him chase it, I want, it, my, I want the child to work on 1v1 with their back against goal. And again, as a junior coach and as a parent, this is not something that might, you know, I may not be, may not have been familiar with. And the program does it automatically for you it shows you what to do and then once it gives you that inspiration you can kind of play with it and make it move. man they set up the field and they were like let's do some 1v1 and so now you can see i showed them how you can do the same thing i'm gonna show you one more thing is the uh, with the app all right matthew this time yep let's play so now we're gonna see what they got and they just enjoy the music they enjoy the music cadence and then after the 45 seconds they, they get a rest all right ball in great job okay Take a break, grab so now water, they get, get so you see that when the horn goes off they get a rest and that's actually pretty important as well so sometimes people say oh the technology you're going to waste time I actually save a lot of time because the rest breaks are built in and if you do 1v1 for 30 to 45 seconds it's actually really really exhausting so you have the 45 not even 45 seconds sorry 30 second rest um to go so they get a 30 second rest that also gives you time to you know help them get you know if you have to give them some coaching points next up also, with both players you also can use it obviously for your individual individual stuff in the living room as you see here you can use it on the field you can use it for advanced players or beginner players and so yeah that's that's basically how I incorporate technology into an individual as well as group training session. I hope this was helpful. I'm going to post this link below and let's get better.